All right, yo, check it out. It's your man Nelly, and you're chilling with BlackPressRadio.com. Holla. Our fellow Americans in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama are hurting, and they need our help. We appeal to your generosity and compassion, not as former presidents, but as private citizens. The best way to help now is to make a cash donation. Every contribution, large or small, matters. So visit BushClintonKatrinaFund.org for more information. The people of the Gulf Coast region will need our help for a long, long time. But when tragedy strikes, Americans respond. Because we're all in this together. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all right. There you go. Down here, guys. Can you, can you pull back? To the left? Right up in the middle here, please. I put my all into it. It's the first time. Got a lot of features and collaborations. Of course, you know, we usually don't do that, but this time we gotta go heavy with it. So it's a great album. Everybody. Just to name a few, uh, Bust Around, uh, and everybody. Everybody. Jay. How about, what is the progression of your collaborative with Excuse me? What is the progression of your collaboration for I Can't Feel My Face? Um, that's my bro, so he have his own studio. So it usually like whenever I go to the studio, whatever we record, we usually don't record nothing for I Can't Feel My Face. We just record together. And we record so much to where we just have so much material. Whenever somebody's ready to put the album out, we got a lot of material. Um, I don't know how you want to put it, but I'm in a movie called The Patriots, uh, featuring Forrest Whitaker. They film it in New Orleans. It's based on a true story, so I'm in that. And there's some talks about me being in the next Fast and the Furious, but I don't know. Do you have any ideas for a follow-up for Lollipop? Yeah. Um, too many ideas, actually. Um, rock and roll remixes. Uh, so many people did their own remixes and just sent them to me, and... It's crazy, but I think the official one is going to be with, I'll let you find out. <laughs> how many tattoos do you have and what do they mean? Um, I don't know how many I have, but I know they mean everything to me. I don't know, that's what's the good thing about it, because if I had a limit on it, I'd probably reach it someday. As far as long as I don't, I might just keep getting better. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot, Weezy. Hey guys, so just want to give you a heads up. Roxy is going to come in here in a few minutes to actually interview Little Wayne from the media center. So you guys will be on camera, so just wanted to give you a heads up about that, okay? Now in the press room with Lil Wayne, you just heard the announcement the third time tonight that you are a nominee. What is even going through your head right now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's just pandemonium, moon cloud 10. Are you overwhelmed? Did you even expect it to happen? I never expected it to happen. I'm overwhelmed, thank you, bro. Thank you. So what are you more focused on? Are you more focused on winning the actual awards or the performance that you're going to give on June 24th? I'm more focused on the performance. I won the award already. Being nominated is one to me. So. So, the, so the performance. So we're going to expect something big for your performance. Well, Better than the fireworks? Your nominations, is there Do one that means a, um, more to you than others? One well, of your nominations is for Lollipop. Right the the songs are totally taken away. We're the 2008 BET Awards. I ain't never that to get one. Nelly! 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 Oh, yeah, that's it. We're here with Katrina in the red carpet. And she's giving the blue shot. <laughs> what black girl nowadays does not. Look at 
Nike Awards. Good friends. Hi, I'm Misha McGlown, author of Manifesting Things, and you're watching BlackPodcast.com.